Hi everybody. Uh, today we will move a little bit further with um, our um, MPDM version 4 universal AC dimmer board and uh, Raspberry Pi direct connection and setup. And um, we will um, try to uh, finalize the domotic setup and also to run some uh, final tests. If you remember from the last time, uh, we have uh, connected together an MPDM version 4 uh, AC dimmer board with a Raspberry Pi 2 and uh, we used um, only three pins the pin number one that is VCC the pin number six that is ground and uh, the pin number 12 or uh, if you want in the in the BCM uh, notation pin number 18 that is the hardware PWM pin. Uh, we have run also a small test and everything uh, was okay. Uh, today uh, we will uh, try to configure also domotics in this configuration and we will see how it's working. Um, the, the first thing that uh, uh, I want to do it's to to check that everything is in place so uh, first thing first uh, I will run a quick test to see if the uh, Pi GPIO demon it's um, running okay yeah so just a quick two values 840 uh, so the the dimmer is working okay the pi gpio demon is in place everything looks okay uh, i will check also to see if domotics it's up and running yes it's in place so uh, let me also start the domotics but first of all, uh, I want to remember you about uh, uh, the special spring cell discount that it's available um, in uh, my uh, Tindy store. Yeah. So this month uh, we have a quite big discount. You can just use the, the coupon code for all the products that are available. Um, on Tindy. Um, so let's try to connect to our domotics server. Okay, so the domotics server it's it's uh, working. Uh, the Pi GPIO demon it's working. Uh, the um, MPDM uh, version for AC dimmer board it's working okay. We have everything in place. <clears throat> now um, related with, with the domotics, uh, what we we need to do uh, first thing is to go in the hardware. And uh, there we need obviously to to define a new device. Yeah. So the new device in our case, I said the name is uh, Raspberry Pi Dimmer. Uh, the type of the device, it's a dummy device because. Uh, we will uh, we will use this one just to to create a new virtual sensor. Yeah. The name is Raspberry Pi Dimmer, and we will declare it um, as a switch. Yeah. So the message says the sensor created. Okay. Uh, now, if we are going in the switches one we will find raspberry pi dimmer okay. uh, we need to edit it 
and we will change it from switch type on off to uh, dimmer type it will remain light switch it's okay it's decent we don't have <coughs> now we don't have any on and on any off actions here because uh, what are we doing we will use events so it will be a special dedicated script that will help us to run uh, the dimmer in this uh, kind of configuration yeah so you don't need to put here anything else just uh, change it to dimmer yeah so let me save it uh, I will put it uh, as a favorite to be able to move it on the main dashboard yeah okay so now the the switch it's the the dimmer it's defined uh, what we need to do next very important we need to define uh, a variable so in more option in user variable <coughs> we need to define a variable uh, I just named the variable as dim it's an integral variable yeah <coughs> This variable is very important because this one will be used in our event script to keep the dim value so basically what's happening when you are turning on and uh, you are turning back uh, you are turning off and you are turning back on the the dimmer yeah so imagine a, a hardware switch switching on off the entire thing in this variable name when it's starting again we'll find the previous value so when it's starting again we'll go to the same dimming level yeah uh, you will see you will see a little bit later how it's working so very important just come here and define the the variable I just choose the name dim yeah so th this is important and <clears throat> now in terms of um, in terms of of the the script yeah um, i've just created <clears throat> a new script um, it's special for for this uh, dimmer setup yeah so what are we doing in this script uh, we are looking for in case of the, an event we are just looking after the uh, RPI dimmer as we defined it and after that on the changes as you can see here uh, when it's going off it will be saved the value yeah in the dim and when it's going on the the value will be take it from the dim and will be reused yeah and so on uh, and of course we are uh, running the corresponding command to be able to to access the the gpi <clears throat> and here it's the important thing if you want related with the fact that we have direct access to the full gpio and all the functions available directly through through the the pgpio daemon yeah so we are just using the corresponding command here yeah so as you can see you have uh, pigs yeah uh, hp it's related with the fact that we are using hardware uh, PWM the pin 18 and uh, after that the frequency and the calculated value for the dimming yeah? uh, I will uh, suggest you to go and and take a look in the um, PI uh, GPIO documentation for the comments yeah? so this uh, as usual all the scripts 
and all the related files will be found in the related uh, uh, blog post yeah so this is the script that we are using to treat our events yeah and now uh, just let me start the the log i i like to to see the log in real time to see what's happening yeah it's easier to to debug and also it's easier to to explain a little bit about it okay so <clears throat> now with all the bits and pieces in place uh, it will uh, start working so let me just pick a value it's 37 percent uh let's look in the in the log because this is the best way to explain what's happening okay? <clears throat> so as you can see we have uh, an initiated switch command yeah for the rpi dimmer yeah and it's a set level thing so this is the event uh now in the script we are looking for for the dim variable value that in our case is this one yeah uh this is the previous value it's the previous saved value yeah now we have the new value calculated based on where we were going on the slider yeah so now it's uh, five six seven zero 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 it's running the related command yeah it's the pigs uh, hardware pwm on pin 18 as i said with the calculated value and that's it now let's uh, pick another value another value means another event you see the previous value saved it's the previous value from here yeah and now we have the new calculated value that it's used to run the command let's try another one uh, a lower interval yeah so here somewhere yeah okay another event previous calculated value this is the new value you see it's close to 800 so now the the light bulb it's it's very dim and now we want to turn off, turn it off yeah so i'm i'm turning it off now in the log file we will see that it was an off command received yeah so it's an off event because it was an off the event it will go off and will save the dim value as it was before yeah 792 792 uh, we decided that the maximum uh, uh, value for this light bulb so the maximum pwm interval that we want to use it's 860 so the value used for off it's 860 we are running the the corresponding command and that's it now let's see what's happening when we are turning on again when we are turning on you see the light bulb it's going to the same level as it was before was turned off yeah so again in the log file we will see very clear that it was an on event yeah and the value that we want to use for on it's the save one in the dim it's 792 so the new value that we will use it's 792 and we run the corresponding command and that's it so this is how it's working uh because uh, of the um, uh, let's say uh, the way that it's uh, hardware implemented the the ac dimmer yeah so basically the fact that on the mpdm version 4 you have 
everything on board so you are doing everything uh, let's say um, complicated and um, cpu consuming here like the uh, phase detection the zero crossing detection the um, synchronization the firing interval for the triac and so on yeah the connections are very very simple you can just provide the pwm signal from your raspberry pi board and with a very small script for treating your event you have a full uh, domotics interface for your uh, dimming needs yeah so uh, this is uh, this is how uh, how it's working it's working very nice and and uh, very very small uh, thank you very much for for watching and uh, as usual if you really like my work please give me a big thumbs up and also uh, please subscribe see you next time